Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. If we haven't met before, I'm Justin with Excelsmith. If you've been here before, welcome back. In a previous video, we built an equation that allowed us to filter using wildcards. Yeah, that's the one. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to check it out. The equation in that video returns all values that contain our search criteria. The challenge is, what if we want to return only the values that begin with our search criteria or are equal to our search criteria? A fantastic solution shared in a comment does just that. In this video, we'll modify our filtering with wildcards equation to build a solution that provides more precise control over our filter results. Let's get started. Our simple data set contains a handful of item numbers in column A and their corresponding price in column B. Of course, this doesn't have to be items and prices. It could be anything, serial numbers, contract IDs, email addresses. It just needs to be something you want to filter. Cell D2 contains the criteria by which we want to filter the data, which I've set to the value ABC. We'll output the filtered list in columns F and G. The filter function in the original solution would return all values that contained the search criteria anywhere within it. To see what I mean, let's quickly build the solution from that video. For a more detailed look as to how that function works, click the YouTube card in the top right corner or the link in the description below. Enter an equal sign, the function name filter, and an open parentheses. Next, we need to enter the range of values we want to filter. For this example, that's the range A2 through B8. The next parameter sets the criteria by which we want to filter the values in the first parameter. Since we want the flexibility to use wildcards, we need to use a couple functions in this parameter. We'll start with isNumber and an open parentheses. Next, enter the function name search and an open parentheses. Search is one of the Excel functions that accepts wildcards. We will use it to tell us which values in column A contain the search criteria in cell D2. For the second parameter, select the items in the range A2 through A8. Enter two closing parentheses to finish the search and isNumber functions. The third parameter of filter allows us to specify what we want returned in the event the filter function doesn't find any matches. For this, we'll just enter a dash between two quotes. Go ahead and type a closing parentheses and press enter. The result of the filter equation is each item that contains the string ABC along with its price. This is every item in column A except the item with a value of AB123 in cell A6. Let's test out the wildcard functionality by filtering to show all values that contain the letters A and B, followed by at least one character, and then the number 4. To do this, select cell D2 and enter A, B, a question mark, an asterisk, and the number 4. Pressing Enter, our filter equation updates to show the values ABC14 and ABC124, since these are the only values that meet the criteria. This is great if we want to return every item that contains our search criteria. What if we want to be more precise? In other words, what if we want to return only the items that are equal to ABC12? Entering this in cell D2 and pressing Enter gives us every item that contains ABC12 as opposed to only the two items that equal ABC12. What if we want all values that start with ABC followed by any number of characters? Like before, we get every item that contains ABC as opposed to only the items that begin with ABC. Solving this brings us to that great solution shared in the comment. To have more control over our filtering, all we need to do is concatenate a space on either side of the two search parameters. To do this, select the filter equation in cell F2. Next, place the cursor at the beginning of the first parameter in the search function. Enter two quotes with a space in between. Then type an ampersand. After D2, type an ampersand and a space between two quotes. To complete the update, we need to do the same thing to the range in the second parameter of the search function. Before the A2, add a space between two quotes and then an ampersand. After A8, add an ampersand and, yep, a space between two quotes. That's it. Let's press enter and then take this modified solution for a spin. Notice the value that starts with a Z is no longer part of our filtered list. This is because this new equation only shows results that are an exact match for the search criteria in cell D2, as opposed to all values that contain the search criteria. If you're getting value from this video, I'm glad to hear it. Let us know by pressing those like and subscribe buttons. It's greatly appreciated and really helps out the channel. Let's test out a couple more. Say I only want to return items that exactly equal ABC12. No problem. Enter this in cell D2 and press Enter. The filter function shows only the items with a value of ABC12, 
as opposed to all items containing ABC12. Let's do one more example. What if we want to show all items with a value containing ABC? In the previous equation, we would simply enter ABC as our search criteria. With this new equation, we get no results because there are no items with a value of exactly ABC. To get all items containing ABC, we simply need to add an asterisk to either side of the search value. Like before, our filter equation returns all the items containing the letters ABC. That is, every item except the item in cell A6. Sorry, A6, maybe next time. To understand why this update works, let's first set the search criteria back to ABC12. Next, select the filter equation in cell F2. To evaluate the search portion, first click anywhere inside the search function. Then, click on Find Text in the Equation tooltip to select the first parameter. With this parameter selected, press F9 on a PC or Function in F9 on a Mac to evaluate it. To evaluate the second parameter, click Within Text from the tooltip. Again, press F9 on a PC or Function in F9 on a Mac. We can now see the full search criteria in the first parameter and the modified values in the second parameter. It's worth noting that the value we added on either side of the search parameters didn't have to be spaces. They could have been any character as long as it was the same character in all four places. The best place to see why this is working is in the second value of the array in the second parameter. That is the value ZABC12. The character before the ABC in that second value is the letter Z. The search function returns an error for this value because of this difference. With the old equation, the entirety of the first parameter could be found in that second value. By adding the spaces before and after, we've created differences that have to be explicitly requested in the search function. As one more example, let's remove the 1 and 2 from the search criteria in the first parameter. As we saw at the beginning of the video, this would have been a match for almost all of the values in the second parameter. Having evaluated this new equation, it's easy to see that there are no values that contain ABC with a space immediately on both sides. Any value that contains the letters ABC has something other than a space either before the ABC or after it. This is why we had to enter the asterisk on either side of the ABC. Press escape to get back to our equation. In this video, we showed how to create a filter equation using a single search criteria. Check out this video to see how to use multiple search criteria with the filter function. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.